What's up guys, today I wanna to talk about three things that are holding you back from reaching your full potential and how you can change these to maximize yourself. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so first I wanna start off with is taking accountability. A lot of people are afraid to take accountability because they don't wanna look at themselves in the mirror from a subjective point of view. They don't wanna be honest with themselves. Now, everyone likes to blame someone else, like their parents, uh, where they come from, things like that. But really, at the end of the day, you have to look at yourself because you can't change those things. So it's no point in worrying about it or complaining about it. The best, I'd say the best way to focus your energy is to really look at yourself from an honest point of view and look at where you are lacking in your life. Like, you know, are you lacking on your fitness? You know, do you not do cardio um, or are you not eating enough? Do you not get enough sleep? That's for the physical side of it. For the mental, it could be do you meditate? You know, do you do things? Do you stretch? Do you really do things to clear your mind and get away from distractions that are all around everyday life today and also even if you want to think about you know your health your long-term health are you drinking enough water things of that nature so you have to be um transparent with yourself and realize what you're doing what you are sacrificing like what you're sacrificing now if it's if you're having comfort if you're just buying stuff and instead save and try to invest that or use that for something that's going to help you out in the future so really taking accountability and being transparent with yourself, looking at the ugly truths that you don't want to, you know, confront and, you know, really just just accepting that you can't change some things, but we're going to change what we can. So this takes me to my next one is wasting too much time. Now, I see a lot of people waste a lot of time for men. This tends to be gaming. Gaming is a big one. If you're a man right now and you game a lot, look at how many hours you spent. Like you can look on your console, how many hours you spent gaming. And I guarantee if you put half of that time and half of the money that you spent on games, that you could have some sort of successful venture investment, or even it could be saved up and you could work or have done fitness, develop some other skill besides, you know, just gaming. Because gaming messes with you in a way that you're playing the game, you're feeling like you're doing stuff. And then when you get off like two or three hours later, nothing has changed and for women i see that uh, really reality tv shows or at least i'm in the south i see a lot of people watching girls clubs type shows like that's what this is what females watch and i feel like you know eliminating those distractions can really help you maximize yourself as well in both aspects as well so getting rid of distractions and really you know taking that time taking that money and really putting it in towards what you feel strongly to do and doing what you feel strongly to do takes me to my third one is having undefined goals. Um, you're never going to reach your destination or where you want to be if you don't define your goals or write your goals down. For me personally, I like to write down fitness goals, um, financial goals, just where I want to be in my life from like from one week. Or actually, from the day, the next day, I'll write down what I have to do to maybe what, where I want to be the next month to where I want to be in the next six months to where I want to be next year. And, you know, I sort of structure it out like that. And I write my goals down. I have this little beat up notebook I want to show you guys where I write down all my daily tasks and my my um, overall goals for the day. And now this whole notebook was black in the beginning like this, but, you know, it kind of wore off over time. But I still keep that with me and I still write down what I have to do, what task I have to do to be uh, my best version of myself. And I try to finish every task daily. This helps me stay accountable, stay from being lazy, and just making sure that I'm getting done on what I need to do so I can look back, you know, and be happy with myself. Or maybe when I'm on a weekend, when I'm enjoying myself, I really earn that. You know, that's something that really matters to me, that I work hard enough in a week to really earn enjoying my weekend and doing whatever I'm doing. So these are the three things that I feel like are slowing people down, and those are ways that you counteract it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and comment down below if you guys want me to do a part two or if you want me to talk about anything else. I'm very open and self-improvement is one of these things that I've really been on for a while. And I feel like I could help some people out there too because it, it will really change your life if you really just apply things, stay focused, and maintain that discipline. And that's it for the video, guys. I'll see y'all next time.